vibration um, amazing for the scorpion um, the cancer sun moon and rising for um, the second period of this year um, the second period is the month of April May and June I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is a fire energy period you are water signs so of fire and water you have the energy of debt and transformation in this period which is your focus you have also the energy of the moon which is your own energy vibration you have justice coming up in May and in June you have judgment so it's a lot of water in here that you have to deal with uh, in a period of fire so for you cancers this is going to be something else for you cancers because um, with the energy of April you're having the energy of the moon um, this is going to be good for your intuition in the month of April your intuition is going to be very high it's as if your guides and angels are calling on you and saying listen to to them in May you have justice which is good because by listening to your inner guides um, um, you're going to understand uh, a situation and balance out the situation in June which your birthday is coming up in June there is going to be judgment so you have justice and judgment that means if you have a legal suit it's not going to be a positive outcomes for you cancer so let's look and see what is happening the moon with justice what does the moon with justice bring for you cancers it brings the four of cups your thinking because obviously there is a situation um, that has to do with legal situation or um, an imbalance of a situation and you need to sit and think about what because there's a lot of thinking going on because there's a lot of there's going to be an end so it could be an end of your marriage or that sort of a thing that you're thinking um, maybe it's better to end my marriage or maybe it's better to leave the situation behind justice and judgment what is happening for justice and judgment justice and judgment you have the queen of wands so people who are connected to the energy of the queen of wands who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius um, there is going to be justice and judgment meaning if you're married to this person this could be the end of your marriage um, that they're saying you know or you are saying you know let's just end this and move on with our lives so this could be a situation the outcomes of this period is going to be the energy of the devil okay so um you can just have been going through a lot of situations um i should say um a lot of situations you can just have been going through because um, as I look at this quarter because you're vibrating in the energy of this quarter um, with fire and you're having um, um, a debt and transformation and you know your intuition is going to help you to guide you through this period because you are having the moon and this is not the moon is the intuition and the moon is bringing in information to you and you're sitting down there and you're thinking about it so let's see what the energy of the moon and justice is saying to you um, because it's it's letting you look at yourself uh, it's letting you look at yourself which you really need to do as a cancer you really really need to look at yourself in this year um, the end of this um, period is going to be a birthday so you really look at re really really need to look at yourself because obviously there's a situation that you're going through that um, you have not made the best um, judgment in going in a situation in a relationship with someone who is in Aries a Leo or Sagittarius and this is um, really affecting some of you okay let's see what is that with justice and judgment the king of cups that is you um, so you are going to have a little bit of judgment coming towards you from the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is someone who you can't really play with because uh, she is going to bring justice to a situation. Okay, the energy of your intuition. You're sitting down and you're thinking, and justice. You have the energy of the Eye Princess. So um, if your your mom or 
your grandmother or that sort of a thing is going to be connecting of your father someone who has passed away and is watching over you is going to be connecting via your intuition to let you be um, to advise you about a situation that is going on with the screen of ones let's see what is justice the queen of one and judgment with king of cups is going to happen there is going to be um, a time that you need to take some rest or you need to move away from the situation for a while sometimes it's good when we move away from situation that we can see the best of which way to move on to so um, a lot of you men who are in relationship or the people who are in relationship with the fire sign people um, the Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, now the outcomes of this is going to be is a karmatic situation that you have to deal with because some of you have known this person lifetime and lifetime before this is not one of the best marriages this was this marriage should have never been taken place um, because here you're looking because you're seeing the situation and you're seeing um, you're really sit down think about it and it's looking at it because your inner wisdom and guidance your your guardian angels are showing you this situation you're thinking about it and you're thinking I did not make the right decision because this is someone who you know from the past this person that you're dealing with could could carry the energy of the the Aries or the Leos obviously this is a situation that you're dealing with um, with the Aries and the Leo and whoever this person is she's like kind of being weary with you at this moment um she's feeling very weary she's thinking what did I get myself in um, I'm not happy in this situation so let's see what other messages are coming out yeah so romance there's a lot of obstacles in this relationship and it's a karmatic situation so here you have another energy of the karma coming in um, the six of cups is a karmatic situation a wheel of fortune so um, this romantic um, situation some could be romantic situation this um, could be um, karmatic situation because it's a romantic karmatic situation that is coming in and you're spiritually protected but right at this moment this woman has become very weary of you okay it's as if you're feeling it it's as if your intuition is letting you know that this woman is getting very weary of you and you are not on solid ground um, there is no stability. that's why there is the energy of death and transformation that is coming out because this relationship is not on solid ground there is no you are not seeing any futures you are not seeing any togetherness with each other because um, there is so many things happening and once a fire sign is becoming weary of a water sign in a relationship this has no um um, good basis uh, this romance there's so many obstacles that is in this romance and it is because of this karmatic situation this is a karmatic um, relationship that is going on here and it is no twin flame no um, soulmate it is just someone you have known from a past lifetime because the wheel of fortune with a six of cups is showing this mm. Tapa. Um, it was not a relationship that was supposed to be happening. Um, uh, it's as if you forced this relationship. It was not a relationship that was supposed to happen, and this is the reason why. Um, this was an unbolden relationship. It was only supposed to be a friendship, but not a relationship, and this is what is happening. Okay, so. Um, be careful because this person is getting weary so she might be thinking to um, divorce she might be thinking to hand this because justice and she is being wary so she is thinking you know this is not what I thought it would have been and you know this is not what I really want in my life um, but you two have got yourself so deep but it was not a romantic relationship 
this relationship was not based on love and this is why all these things are happening you have to work on your sixth chakra which is your third eye and this is why you sit and thinking and this is why the eye princess is coming up because um, um, it's as if your spirit guides and angels if you have um, past re uh, relatives they are coming in um, to show you the light of this relationship and to let you know that you have not made the best choice that this was an unhealthy relationship from the beginning you have made the best choice the other energy that we have is the urge energy and it invites you um, to Lady Nada invites you to the angel in the charge of this planet as the Taurus energy um, invoke master Rokasi, and it says I thank Lady Nada for inviting me to be on this earth at this time I thank Lady Nada to invite me to be on this earth at this time and this is um, very good so by thanking Lady Nada um, to be on the search at this time this is a wonderful energy because obviously um, you really um, need it to be on this planet at this time so this is what is happening let's move forward and look at the energy for love and career and we're first looking at um, the ladies over 40 for love and career ladies over 40 love and career there's going to be a judgment call um, so the number 20 is going to be one of your energies number 20 is going to be one of your energies and number two number 20 and number two then we have the energy of the stars so um, good news is coming in for you ladies over 40 and as if um, the energies is going to be good for you ladies so um, it is going to be good in love and work for you ladies over 40 okay so you ladies over 40 it's all about love and work that is going to be happening so this is going to be good let's look at men over 40 there's a lot of conflicts a lot of lies a lot of conflicts a lot of lies seen through these situations and you're trying to work them out so you men over 40 either you have been lying or they someone else has been lying to you and you are seeing through these lies and you're working through them but you men over 40 or you know seeing a lot of things that is happening the lies and everything that is happening and you're trying um, to look at it and work it out for yourself because there you are um, you're asking your inner guidance for help because um, you're seeing now the truth of the situation with either your relationship or your marriage with this fire sign person for the rest of the people 18 to 40 let's see your a lot of you are working hard which is um, very good working hard on the um, love relationship and some of you will be um, the lies and everything are going to be ending so this is good um, this is wonderful as a matter of fact because um, whatever the situation is you guys are working hard and uh, on your relationship on your work work and relationship balancing work and relationship whatever lies and whatever things that was told whatever situation that was happening the truth is coming out and this is going to be good because what is happening is that wonderful positive energies are coming out for you young folks so it is going to be good I want to say to um, each and every person out there thank you for being here um, please look forward to share the, share these videos thumbs up like and shares and the April video will be coming out soon namaste until next time